girlfriends, it's your girl Valon Smith and today I'm going to show you the proper way on how to detangle your hair. So as you can see, my hair is very dry and I didn't tie it up last night, you know, sometimes I don't. And um, I was thinking, okay, I want to do a new style today, but I want to detangle it. Now, the number one true key to the perfect detangle is moisturize. That's right moisturize the curls have to be moisturized this will help those who are tender-headed this is going to help you comb through your hair without losing a lot of hair so i'm going to show you exactly how to do that so the first thing you want to do is you want to part the hair into big sections and you could just use your hands so what i do is i go like this And get the clip, kind of just move it out the way. Same for this side and for the back. Now, for me, and you'll see too, a good detangle is best in the shower because right after you do your hair, you put the, I mean, I'm sorry, right after you wash your hair, you put the conditioner on, gobs of conditioner on, and then you just comb it through. But if you don't want to do it on the shower or you're working on someone else's head, then this is what you want to do. See, it's so thick, the clip didn't even want to take it on. All right. I didn't clip the back because it's really not in the way. So after we part with our hands, the next thing we want to do is what curl friends? What is it that we always do? We use olive oil. Can't ever go wrong. So we're going to use a lot of it. So there goes my, my oil. Oil one. I say oil one because I'm going to put some more on and it just, you, you continue to use the oil depending on your hair's thickness. The oil will keep the hair moisturized and make it really easy to detangle. It's kind of hard to detangle just off water. All right, so you see I used about three good healthy handfuls of olive oil just on this one side. Now, I'm going to spray my curls with water and spray it real, real, really, really wet. As you can see, I got a really big water bottle. I go through a lot. You can, you can see with all the water that I use why I say it's just so much easier to do it in the shower. But again, if you're not doing it for yourself, <laughs> then this is what you, you would have to do. All right, so I got it really wet. Curls are starting to look juicy. That's what we need. So next, you want to use a wide tooth comb, okay? Never detangle with a small brush, a small comb. Don't do it. You need to start off with a wide tooth comb. I feel like just adding a little bit more water. Okay. So now, to detangle, never start at the root. That's bad. That's where a lot of hair is going to fall out and for tender haired people, they're going to cry. You always want to gather the hair together and start at the bottom. So you see right here, and because of all this water and oil in my hair, you see how much easier it is to get through. So you comb it from the bottom and work your way up.
And if you ever feel like you have to, because maybe it's too tangly, you can still go back and wet your hair and add more oil. You can also use a leave-in conditioner too. That's just fine. And you see, I'm almost there at the root. Now it's probably detangled. You see how I could just comb on through with no problems. Yay. So that's one section. And after you're done with the section, you can just go ahead. What I do is I just take it. You can braid it up or twist it up. Just depends on, you know, the person, what's easier for you. I just give it a big twist. Then I... Put it like this and now my clip can stay on and then you just do the same thing with each section so i hope that you enjoyed this video please continue to follow us on facebook as well as on instagram leave your comments below follow us on youtube all of it is natural do and i look forward to sharing more videos with you all right car friends see you next time bye